as usual. Please grab a drink or a cocktail of choice and enjoy. Have you ever felt completely overwhelmed when trying to decorate your home? You're not alone. It's easy to get caught up in the excitement of creating a beautiful space, but sometimes it can be hard to translate your ideas into reality. A mood board is an incredibly powerful tool in your home decor. It's a visual representation of your design style, a way to bring your ideas to life, to see how they work together before you start decorating. By using a mood board, you can ensure that your space turns out exactly how you envision it. Many people struggle with visualizing their design ideas and coordinating colors and styles. You might have a clear picture in your mind of what you want your space to look like but it can be tough to get that vision out into the world. That's where a mood board comes in. It helps you clarify your ideas and make sense of the millions of possibilities out there. Without a mood board, it's easy to get caught up in the overwhelm of possibilities and end up with a space that doesn't feel like you. But with a mood board, you can take control of your design and create a space that truly reflects your personal style. Let's take a look at a few examples of different mood boards. This physical mood board is made with a cork board and features a mix of magazine cutouts, fabric swatches, and other materials. This digital mood board, on the other hand, was created with an online tool and features a clean and modern aesthetic. And this mood board uses a combination of paper and digital elements to create a really unique and eye-catching design. Now that we've talked about that, what mood boards are and why they're so useful, let's dive into the process of creating one. The first step is to select a color scheme. This will be the foundation of your mood board and will help guide your design decisions. Think about the colors you love, the colors you hate, and the colors that you're not really sure about. Make a list of your top three to five colors and then start gathering materials that match those colors. One thing that I've done when uh, thinking about decorating my home was to uh, look at different magazines. This magazine here, my favorite color is green. So I wanted not specifically to recreate the exact look of this room, but I wanted to um, just embody the the presence that this room um, gives. The bright colors, the greens, the yellows, the happy feel. So I like to use this as um, my mood board. I cut out different pictures and put them on the board. Also, I'll show you another one. Just the bright happiness of this uh, magazine layout and how it has different um, pictures on the wall. I love, again, as a maximalist, I love lots of pictures around the wall. Um, so this really helped me out with playing with different styles of photos that I want. And let's see, again, as a maximalist, and a book lover. This is, was another inspiration for me. I also really, really love uh, the colors in this magazine um, photo. So it helped out a lot. And last but not least, you guys know I have a garden. So just embodying health, happiness, and freshness. I love all of the colors of the beautiful garden. Um, colors here garden vegetables and that's an inspiration for not just my kitchen but my home in general I'm so excited to introduce you to my favorite digital mood board app Pinterest if you haven't discovered Pinterest yet you're in for a treat it's an incredible platform for curating and organizing your ideas especially when it comes to home design and decor on Pinterest, you can create visual collections called boards, where you can pin images, articles, and videos that inspire you. It's like having a virtual scrapbook where you can gather and arrange your favorite decor ideas, color schemes, furniture styles, and DIY projects. Whether you're planning a complete home makeover 
or just looking for a little inspiration to refresh a room, Pinterest makes it easy to visualize and plan your perfect space. Pinterest makes it incredibly easy to visualize and plan your perfect space through its intuitive and visually driven platform. Here's how. Visual organization. Pinterest allows you to create boards, again, for different projects or themes, such as living room decor, kitchen renovation, or garden landscaping. You can pin images and articles to these boards, organizing your inspiration in a way that makes sense to you. Search and discover. The search functionality on Pinterest is powerful and tailored to your interests. You can find a vast array of ideas by searching for specific styles, colors, or design elements. Pinterest algorithm also suggests pins based on your interests, helping you discover new ideas you might not have considered. Rich content. Each pin can contain not just an image, but also links to detailed articles, how-to videos, and product pages. This makes it easy to delve deeper into a particular idea understand how to achieve a look, or even purchase the items you need. Collaborative boards. You can invite others to contribute to your boards, making it easy to collaborate with family members, friends, or designers. This feature is perfect for planning shared spaces or getting input from others. Trends and inspiration. Pinterest is consistently updated with the latest trends and ideas. By following designers, influencers, and brands, you can stay on top of what's new and trending in home decor. I want to invite you to follow me on Pinterest to see my mood boards and share in the inspiration. Let's create beautiful spaces together, even on Pinterest. Now, let's continue with the mood board. For example, let's say you're redecorating your living room and you're not sure what color to paint the walls. A mood board lets you try out different colors and see how they work with the rest of your design elements, like your furniture, rug, and accessories. You can move things around, add new elements, and take away old ones until you find the perfect combination. There are so many different types of mood boards out there, from physical boards made with magazine cutouts and fabric swatches to digital boards created with apps and online tools. Some people like to keep their mood boards super simple and focused, while others prefer to add lots of embellishments and decorations. The beauty of a mood board is that it's completely customizable. You can make it whatever you want it to be. A mood board is especially useful when you're working with a lot of different elements, like furniture, colors, and textures. It can be hard to see how all of these elements will work together in your space. But a mood board lets you experiment and play around with different combinations until you find the one that works best. And the best part is, you can make changes and adjustments as you go along without having to commit to a specific design or purchase any expensive material. A mood board is an incredibly powerful tool in your home decor. It's a visual representation of your design style, a way to bring your ideas to life to see how they work together before you start decorating. By using a mood board, you can ensure that your space turns out exactly how you envision it. Many people struggle with visualizing their design ideas and coordinating colors and styles. You might have a clear picture in your mind of what you want your space to look like, but it can be tough to get that vision out into the world. That's where a mood board comes in. It helps you clarify your ideas and make sense of the millions of possibilities out there. Without a mood board, it's easy to get caught up in the overwhelm of possibilities and end up with a space that doesn't feel like you. But with a mood board, you can take control of your design and create a space that truly reflects your personal style. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Thank you for watching my video. Your support means the world to me. If you enjoyed what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting content in the future. I appreciate each and every one of you. Until next time.